voice. Run while you still can. Run! And to save her. If she falls, it's all for nothing. <sighs> Let them go. There you are. I thought you dead. My essence lost. Not yet. Not until I take you with me. Bring peace. Embrace it. Yourself. Father. Nadra, world between worlds. Fury travel the path between the bed of creation and the foundation of law. Let it bridge the rivers of death and the soundless <sighs> Voice of Nature. Commend me to your master. <sighs> Voice of Nature. Commend me to your master. <sighs> Save her. If she falls, it's all for nothing. We'll arrange transport to a medical facility at once. Uh, Father, Val! I'm just glad you found the champion at all. Champion? <laughs> Sir! Awake already? I wasn't expecting you to be up for weeks. There is much we need to discuss. Follow me. You're staring a hole through my face, Ascended. Kness, I saw you dead, your body. It was in the palace. I was just there a moment ago. Settle down. You've been on quite the journey. How do you feel? Do you still sense his influence at all? His influence? 
You mean Arima? The Hellion wasn't enough to prevent his return at Crimson Keep. And as he rose, he took you, Valeria, and the Grand Inquisitor as his thralls. I was able to track you down when he sent you to Stormfall, but no such luck with your father and sister. There at Araman's side. I saw it, or I think I did. They scourged Stormfall alongside him. You saw it? You mean you had a vision? No, it wasn't a vision. I was there, body and soul. I saw him having invaded the palace, father and Valeria at his side. And there was an egg. An egg? You saw Araman follow Oshara's egg to Stormfall. Forgive me. You wouldn't remember. Ganez, what don't I remember? This might be difficult to hear. Araman used you to advance his plans, to abuse the trust of the people of Stormfall and their allies. It's likely the Order of Ashara will be able to tell you more, but in short, Araman seeks control of a creature known as the Voice of Nadra. He sent you here to offer the Order your help as a pretext for gaining access to her. Circumstances led to the first Voice of Nadra's demise, but she bore an egg before her death, which will match her in power one day. I was able to prevent you, prevent Araman, from seizing it. Circumstances? Did I kill the first voice of Nadra? That matters little. The egg is safe for now. I had it sent to the palace. The young Oshara knight must be looking over it as we speak. But your vision is right about one thing at least. Araman wants the egg. And I doubt he'll stop at anything to get it. Even an act of open warfare. Go, speak to the council about raising the defenses. We'll need to fortify the city. Take care to omit any details about your possession or about this strange vision. I will. Thank you, Ganez, for freeing me and for believing me. Damascus? It's nonsense. Leaving Damascus alive is a loose end. I can't see the council risking that. But what if he is back? What if he puts the council in its place? No, I saw him myself. Approaching the palace under heavy guard. If he really has returned, he's more of a fool than I thought. Mojave is always the best value. Thank you. 
Hello there, friend. Please, browse my wares. The Order stocks the finest equipment from all over the continent. Please, take a look. Welcome. Don't mind the mess. We have everything to gain if we believe you. Are we supposed to take your word for it? You don't have to take my word. Send a scouting party. Verify my claims. There's no need. Not one of our daily patrols has reported signs of cultist activity. And we have no obligation to spend precious resources on your whim. This isn't your town anymore. Who cares about your resources? You're on the chopping block, each and every one of you. And all your pride, your interests, your great houses, they'll drag down every last innocent in Stormfall along with you. <laughs> but please, <laughs> dig your heels down. Regent, we'd heard word of your arrival. Welcome back. We have an unexpected guest, as you can see. Champion, you are the regent? He will not bother us any longer. We'll have him escorted out. Disregard that order. I can vouch for Damascus' claims. Something is coming for Stormfall, and when it gets here, it'll make the sphere and the mist look like trifles. Order an emergency gathering. We need to fortify Stormfall. We'll need every ally we can possibly get. That includes you too, Damascus. You cannot be serious. Allowing Damascus back into Stormfall would undermine your authority as regent, not to mention ours as a council. The incoming attack would undermine us a lot more. We can worry about internal politics later, but this is the moment to make a show of unity. You can count on me, champion. I won't fail Stormfall again. Now to my purpose here. A package was sent to the palace. Where is it now? You speak of the egg. It is currently displayed in the throne room. Take care with it, Regent. Our relations with the city of Archeon depend on that bauble. Meanwhile, we will raise this emergency gathering. Thunderblade Zalahir will take you there once you are ready. Lots resting on you, Sprout. Wonder if you can feel it already. When you didn't come back, part of me hoped Ashara was still alive. Uh, not that I wanted you dead instead. Oh, right then. The fight with Ashara. This must be the new voice of Nadra. You're the one who brought it back. Are you alright? I've had a harrowing time of it. Ganessa's help was sorely needed, but it's over now. At least I think it is. And I'd like to piece things back together, including figuring out what the voice of Nadra does exactly. Well, it tethers us to the other realms. Without a voice of Nadra, the laws that bind us, our ability to dream, even our ability to die, all that would fade away. And if the voice of Nadra fell into our man's hands, he would take control of every single one of those domains. Ariman. He's a fallen primordial who's uh, taken an interest in Elwa, in the Egg. My friend Ganez was able to stop him from taking her. He, well, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to try again. Elwa. Oh, blasted cults. Does this never end? Was taking Ashara not enough? There's something else I need to know. The voice of Nadra. <laughs> Has it ever... Oh, this will sound stupid. Has it ever given someone a second chance? The opportunity to try again after dying? What on earth are you saying? 
that you've been brought back from the dead? It's more than that. I feel like I was shown a path that led to oblivion. Then I was pulled back to a fork in the road. And I don't know who to thank for it. There's no record of Ashara ever bringing anyone back from the dead, or of her turning back the tides. If there was, how could she have let herself die? Maybe her daughter is different. Oh, I don't know. Something's happened to me, and so far she's the only lead I have. Let's just set that aside for now. What we know for sure is that she's the voice of Nadra, and that primordial Wasis face is after her. All we can do is put as many obstacles as possible between him and her. Call on me if you need help. Meanwhile, I'll be watching over... Oh, Aelba. Call me paranoid, but I don't plan on letting her out of my sight for a while. Good call. Araman is a... a devious enemy. Trust your own instinct, Hilthane, and nobody else's. Not even mine. There's no time to waste. I should speak to Zala here. He'll show me to the emergency gathering. There's no time to waste. Champion! We've been tracking the Covenant's movements. Come and see the report as soon as possible. My lord, you are aware of Stormfall Seekers, are you not? Doesn't ring a bell, no. They are, or were, a garrison of individuals devoted to the exploration of the continent. But since tragedy has struck Stormfall, many of the Seekers have passed. And the garrison they once called home is now a pile of rubble. I suggest that, that we rebuild the garrison, and have someone Ah, good, you're here. Let's get to business. My lord. As we are expanding Stormfall, the Council have been discussing how important it may be to have a vault to protect the city's wealth. And your loyal friend, Mohabi, has been chosen for the job. Ah, yes. We believe your loyal friend to be the perfect candidate for overseeing such an operation. It will be the finest vault Stormfall has ever seen. And Mohabi will be its king. Well, no, you will not be a king. You will oversee its construction and day-to-day -day operations. But it is not yours to do with as you wish. Huh. Yes, yes, Mojave understands. And for you, my friend... That's my lord to you. And for you, my lord, Mojave will build a personal vault for all your personal treasures. A good deal, yes? Well, I'm certainly intrigued. We'll be sure to let you know. Of course. Mojave will be waiting for your word, my friend. Ah! We have been waiting for your return, my lord. Now, shall we begin? Glad you could be here, Ascended. I've been discussing Araman's incoming attack with Thunderblade Zalahir. We'll need all our collective knowledge of the Covenant of the Blind to prepare Stormfall. 
You and I in particular will be counted on to report on their strategies, but we cannot be counted on to build those fortifications ourselves. We have neither the theoretical knowledge nor the skill to build anti-primordial defenses. To that purpose... Good day, champion, regent, whichever one it is nowadays. You're probably aware already that I'm in the business of Enoracts, objects infused with powerful primordial affinity. Something you might not know is that we've learned to infuse other objects with that kind of power. Cannons, power grids, lock systems, ah, uh, I could go on. My point is... It would be a waste to build ordinary fortifications against a most extraordinary enemy. Uh, welcome back, my lord. Um, is there anything you wish to discuss? Damascus? Isn't this usually Eugene's post? As you can see, using my personal funds, I've bought the Purple Phoenix's service. Indefinitely. Things aren't looking good, champion. Each of the Covenant's cults has been recruiting. We will need to source intelligence from all over the Adrigion Cut if we are going to keep up with Ariman. And that's why you're working with the Purple Phoenix? Precisely. Eugene will keep track of any cultist operations they find on the map. And it will be up to you to order an intervention. I can't stress this enough, Champion. If we cannot weaken Ariman before he gets here, things will get ugly. So I'll need to go sabotage his operations in person? <laughs> well, why not? I've never been good at delegating. Oh, you know how this goes. Pick contract, do violence, reap rewards. What's holding you back? Uh, you all right? Should I call for someone? What you're looking for? Good. Not for
getting your attention. Done. Now, let's move to the trading part. An excellent choice. Now, use it and fulfill your destiny. Or at least the one we saw for you. We shared what had to be shared. I have been waiting for you. What's expected of you, Fate Walker? I need more power. That's not happening.
you must. An excellent choice. Now, use it and fulfill your destiny. Or at least the one we saw for you.
carry that. been waiting for you. My part here is over. The Cabal of Illumination awaits my report. Looks like these grounds have more than one master. They're gonna get away, the slippery critters. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't have enough space. It's too big. I need a breather. Getting your attention. Done. Now, let's move to the trading part. My part here is over. The Cabal of Illumination awaits my report.
It's my lucky day. The workforce has acquitted itself brilliantly, my lord. Please, observe the results for yourself. The Order has gathered, my lord. Ah! We have been waiting for your return, my lord. Now, shall we begin? Glad you could be here, Ascended. I've been discussing Araman's incoming attack with Thunderblade Zalahir. We'll need all our collective knowledge of the Covenant of the Blind to prepare Stormfall. You and I in particular will be counted on to report on their strategies. But we cannot be counted on to build those fortifications ourselves. We have neither the theoretical knowledge nor the skill to build anti-primordial defenses. To that purpose... Good day, champion, regent, whichever one it is nowadays. You're probably aware already that I'm in the business of Enoracts, objects infused with powerful primordial affinity. Something you might not know is that we've learned to infuse other objects with that kind of power. Cannons, power grids, lock systems, ah, I could go on. My point is... It would be a waste to build ordinary fortifications against a most extraordinary enemy. 
Thanks to you and the EOS, I have very specific information about the cult's tactics. And oh, I have so many ideas. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but try not to get carried away. The choice of which projects move ahead is ultimately down to the Regent. Keep that in mind. Oh, of course. Of course. At the end of the day, I can't... Hello, my lord. I will assemble the council at once. Glad you could be here, Ascended. I'll see you again, I'm sure. <laughs>